What's up guys, Bobby here from SlickText.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to shorten and track a URL inside your text message. Let's check it out. The ability to shorten and track a link inside your text message not only saves you precious characters, but it allows you to see how many times that link is being clicked. With SlickText's proprietary link tracking abilities, we can shorten it right inside SlickText, save you characters, and show you those analytics right inside your dashboard. Let's check it out. Inside our dashboard, we're simply gonna to go to the send a message page. Now, anywhere you insert a link in as far as an outbound text message, we're gonna detect that you have inserted a URL and give you the option to shorten it. So let me type up a quick example here for us. We'll go ahead and select the list that we wanna to send to. Then we'll insert a message. Now, nothing shows up on the screen just yet because we haven't typed up a domain or a URL. But watch what happens when I type up this URL. We'll go ahead and put something very simple in here. And as soon as you start typing it, you'll notice that this little thing here gives you the option to shorten and track it. Well, that's great. So we'll go ahead and shorten and track this. Let's send them to maybe the, we'll say the pricing page. Now the link is shortened and we're ready to send. So that's how you shorten and track a link. But I need to talk about something. Whether or not a link is clickable on your cell phone all depends on your phone's ability to detect the link and make it clickable to the user. Remember that SlickText is simply sending an SMS message. That means it's a short message service, letters, numbers, and characters found on a QWERTY keyboard. There's no HTML, there's no JavaScript, there's nothing that can make that link clickable except your phone software. Hopefully that's clear. Let's go back into the dashboard. Let's view the analytics. Inside the analytics dashboard for this campaign, this sent message, we can see that the link was included here, but there's been zero clicks. Now watch what happens when I click on that link. I'm gonna, we're gonna refresh our page here. And now our analytics are gonna show that there has been one click. And something to note here that a user can click that link more than once, okay? There's two people on my text list. And if I click it again, two times in a row, you'll notice that when we refresh the page, the links will be 100%. So it's possible that somebody can click a link more than once and increase your click through, driving your click percentage up. Just be aware of that. And that's how you shorten and track a link with Slick Text. Should you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us, 1-800-688-6290, or email us, info at slicktext.com. And don't forget to check out my next tutorial on enhanced link tracking how you can shorten and track a link and then retarget subscribers based on their action. Thanks for watching guys, we'll catch you soon.